Japan is known as the land of the rising sun and has some pretty cool stuff you might not know about. For starters, Japan was believed to be the first place where the sun rises each day. Plus, people there live longer, so it has a lot of older folks. 21% of the population is over the age of 65, outnumbering the young ones by a big margin. Did you know Japan is made up of over 6,800 islands? That's a lot. And get this, Japan has 3,000 McDonald's restaurants. That's more than anywhere else outside of the US. Oh, and they love fish, a ton of it, as they consume 17 million tons annually. Let's kick things off with the dawn of civilization in Japan during the Jomon period. Picture this around 14,000 BCE. The first settlers arrived on the Japanese archipelago, leading to diverse hunter-gatherer communities and the beginnings of agriculture. Fast forward to around 300 BCE, and we see a mass migration from Asia, ushering in the Yayoi period. This transformation turned Japan into a settled agricultural society, fostering cultural fusion and new practices. Next up, we have the rise of the Yamato clan, a pivotal period in Japanese history. In 57 CE, the King of Na issued the Golden Seal, uniting Japanese states in northern Kyushu. Then, in 180 CE, the shaman queen Himiko took power in the Yamatai clan leading to intrigue, alliances, and ancient politics. By 404 CE, volatile interstate warfare involving Goguryeo, Silla, and Bekje set the stage for Yamato's rise, with Bekje and Gaia becoming familiar partners. Moving on to medieval Japan, where the Muromachi period saw the flourishing of samurai culture, tea ceremonies, and Zen gardens, then, during the Azuchi Momoyama period, warlords, castles, and a cultural renaissance emerged. The Edo period brought us shoguns, geishas, and the famous Tokaido Road, while the Tokugawa period was characterized by peace, isolation, and the beauty of cherry blossoms. Now let's talk about the Meiji Restoration, a turning point in Japanese history. In 1868, the Meiji era dawned throwing Japan into modernity with railways, industry, and constitutional reforms. However, this era in Japan is also seen in the Manchurian Incident of 1931. The devastation of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 led to Japan's surrender after atomic bombs were dropped. Finally, in 1952, the Allied occupation ended and Japan joined the UN. Let's take a look at Japan's humble beginnings to becoming a global economic powerhouse. In 2022, Japan's GDP was approximately $4.26 trillion. That's a lot of sushi rolls. Japan's rising economy can be identified by a variety of factors. The government strategically identified and supported key industries such as automobiles and brands like Toyota, Nissan, and Honda have left an indelible mark. In electronics, brands like Sony, Panasonic, and Toshiba have led the way. And shipbuilding, which facilitated technological advancements and export growth. Land reform, which redistributed land from large landowners to tenant farmers, increased agricultural productivity and rural incomes, stimulating domestic demand. U.S. financial aid and the economic demands of the Korean War provided significant capital and boosted Japan's industrial base. The cultural practice of continuous improvement, known as Kaizen, permeated all levels of industry, from the factory floor to corporate management. Additionally, methods like total quality management and just-in-time production techniques optimized efficiency and minimized waste. Extensive investments in infrastructure, including transportation networks, energy supply, and telecommunications, further supported industrial activities and economic integration. This is the flag of Japan. It's a minimalist masterpiece featuring a white rectangular background with a bold red circle at its heart. Simple yet profound, 
This design captures the essence of Japan's identity in a striking visual representation. The origin and symbolism behind the flag trace back to ancient Japanese culture, drawing inspiration from the sun disk, an influential symbol representing life, light, and energy. Legend has it that Amaterasu, the sun goddess, founded Japan, and her descendants, the emperors, still carry the title, Son of the Sun. When it comes to its elements, the circle within the flag represents the sun. But it's more than just geometry, it's a cosmic force that binds Japan's past, present, and future together. The flag's proportions are two by three to create a harmonious balance, with the sun's hot red contrasting beautifully with the cool white background. The colors of the flag hold deep meaning. The fiery red sun symbolizes sincerity, brightness, and warmth, serving as a sense of hope and unity. Meanwhile, the white background represents purity, integrity, and the blank canvas of Japan's future. Let's kick things off with some notable statistics about Japan, an archipelago stretching over 6,000 islands in the Pacific Ocean. The main islands, including Honshu, Kyushu, Hokkaido, and Shikoku, form the backbone of this remarkable country. Moving on, let's explore Japan's bustling capital, Tokyo. A vibrant blend of tradition and modernity, Tokyo is a city like no other. And when it comes to neighbors, Japan's maritime borders are surrounded by countries like China, North Korea, South Korea, Russia, Taiwan, and the Philippines, making it a hub of cultural exchange and interaction. Japan's diverse ecosystems and the unique species harbor the world's most northerly monkeys, the Japanese macaques, to the Usuri brown bear of Hokkaido. Its wildlife is truly remarkable. And let's not forget about the colorful copper pheasant, the exclusive Iriomote cat, and the symbolic red-crowned cranes. Now let's talk numbers. Japan covers an area of approximately 142,000 square miles. And when it comes to temperature, winters average around 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius, while summers can reach close to 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius, making for a diverse climate experience, but Japan's climate varies across its regions. In Tokyo, for example, the climate is subtropical, with temperatures averaging around 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius in August, and around 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius in January, providing a pleasant mix of seasons throughout the year. According to World Meter elaboration of the latest United Nations data, Japan has over 122 million people, which makes it a bustling hub of diversity and innovation. Here, tradition and modernity dance hand in hand, shaping daily life in unique ways. Religion plays a significant role, with Shinto and Buddhism coexisting harmoniously and influencing daily rituals and festivals. And let's not forget about Japan's education system, which produces disciplined minds and global innovators. With a powerhouse economy boasting tech giants, automakers, and timeless craftsmanship, Japan is truly a force to be reckoned with. And of course, the Japanese language, rich in nuances and poetic expressions, serves as the cultural glue that binds this nation together. Have you ever wondered why Japanese people have the highest life expectancy at birth according to 2016 OECD data, particularly for women? Japanese men have a slightly higher life expectancy of 81 years than that of Canadian men, which is 80 years, while the life expectancy of Japanese women is 87 years is significantly higher than that of Canadian women of 84 years. This incredible longevity can be explained by two factors, a low obesity rate and a distinct diet that emphasizes fish and plant-based items like soybeans and tea while limiting the consumption of red meat. Let's talk about some of Japan's icons and influencers who have made a mark on the world stage. 
from the animation wizard Hayao Miyazaki, whose enchanting films from Studio Ghibli have captivated audiences worldwide, to tennis sensation Naomi Osaka, who champions mental health awareness, Japan is home to a diverse array of talent. Let's not forget about legendary filmmaker Akira Kurosawa, whose cinematic masterpieces have reshaped global cinema, and baseball maestro Ichiro Suzuki, who has bridged Japan and the MLB with his supreme talent. Exploring Japan's musical landscape and favorite pastimes, we have here the catchy tunes of J-pop to the soulful melodies of traditional enka. Japan grooves to diverse rhythms that cater to every taste. And who can resist the national obsession of karaoke? gathering your friends and belting out your favorite tunes for a night of fun and laughter. For sports enthusiasts, sumo wrestling is a timeless tradition where giants collide in the ring. And let's not forget about Hanami, the cherry blossom picnics that serve as a poetic epic to fleeting beauty and the arrival of spring. Didn't I mention earlier that Japan has 3,000 McDonald's restaurants? mainly because McDonald's Japan has successfully blended global branding with local adaptation, making it a beloved fast food staple in the country. They offer items like the teriyaki McBurger and chicken tatsuda. They also incorporate anime characters in their commercials. Additionally, McDonald's introduced the concept of a drive through restaurant in Japan during a time of rapid motorization, adding a new dimension of enjoyment to driving. From the delicate flavors of sushi and sashimi, where raw fish dances on seasoned rice, to the comforting warmth of ramen, a noodle in savory broth, Japan's culinary landscape is a feast for the senses. Don't forget about tempura, with its crispy battered seafood and veggies, and matcha, the green tea magic that delights with every sip. If you enjoyed this video on Japan, you'll love this next one.